When you're running out of time to set up for a video and your background is literally just a tissue box. Yeah, we've all been there. Howdy there, Cupcakes. It's Puppy Lover 863. Time for a pop quiz. What is one key facet of making LPS videos that makes the video visually appealing? Is it the sets? Is it the props? Is it the costume? Is it the LPS? Well, yes, it's all of the above, but most importantly, it's our nails. Unless you're using sticks or strings or any after effects to move the LPS, the majority of us in the community use our hands to make these little plastic toys come to life. That being said, since our hands often make an appearance in our videos next to our LPS, we take our nail care duties very seriously. And just to put it out there that everyone's nails are uniquely beautiful. Whether you have long or short nails, leave them unpainted or paint on them, they all look amazing. That being said, in today's video, I thought I'd kick it up a notch with the typical nail designs I create for videos and create nail designs that are inspired by LPS Tube itself. Well, specifically LPS tubers. Before we begin, a quick shout out to my mom for giving me this idea because a little while ago she showed me a video from a YouTube channel called Cute Polish. In the video, they were demonstrating really cute nail designs inspired by the Winnie the Pooh characters. So in this video, I will be doing five individual nail designs inspired by LPS tubers mascots or icons. But anyways, I've been blabbering on long enough. Let's just get right to it. Now, before working on any designs, I used a base coat from Essie. Any brand is fine. It ensures that whatever you paint on your nails will stay on, and it also protects your nails from getting stained by the pigments in the nail polish. So once you've coated all your nails with the base coat, we just wait for them to dry. This first design is inspired by the mascot of none other than Sovi GTV, the creator of LPS Popular. So to start, I'm using a light pink coat as the base to match the background of her channel icon. Once the pink has completely dried, I'm gonna take this light green color. Uh, I know the mascot isn't mint color, but I didn't have a teal color laying around. And I'm gonna be using this dotting tool to create the additional details. I got this from Michaels, but if you go to any nail store, they might have a dotting tool. So here I'm just gonna be making a medium sized circle resting on the bottom edge of the nail. Not too big, but also not too small either. And then here I'm using a smaller dotting tool to create two smaller dots. You kind of see me attempting to connect each small dot to the bigger dot, but I would suggest waiting for the paint to dry completely before doing that. As you can see, we have added our antenna to Gigi slash Mimi's head. And as an additional accent, I'm going to be creating a small white flower on the top right corner of the nail. This is totally optional, but I thought this was just too cute to not do. And this time with white nail polish, again, I'm kind of just using the dotting tool to create a simple flower, one dot for the middle and five dots as the petals. But as you'll see throughout this video, this is not the best quality white nail polish. It's just not the right type of nail polish for this video. And then finally, once all the paint has dried, you can layer your nail with a top coat to protect the paint and keep it from chipping. And you're all done. And now you have a Sophie GTV inspired nail design. For this next design, you're going to need some white nail polish as the base, and it's going to be inspired by LPS Hannah's mascot, Destiny Hudson. And this is what I mean when I say that this white paint I'm using is not the best quality. I'm sure any other brand that you've picked out will turn out much better than mine. So this white coat will serve as kind of the background to represent uh, LPS Hannah's mascot's background. And here I've just taken some light pink nail polish to kind of create the base for Destiny's head. It's pretty much covering a two thirds of the nail. Now what I'm doing is using a dotting tool to shape two triangle ears on both sides. Uh, this shot, it did not capture me using the dotting tool really well. And I apologize if some of the scenes look really blurry. I did not take that into account while filming. Once the pink nail polish has completely dried, you're gonna take some yellow acrylic paint. This is actually something that the Cute Polish channel demonstrated every time. You're allowed to use acrylic uh, paint to add additional detail to your designs. Using a very fine brush, I'm creating the bottom base. 
of Destiny's Crown and then creating a small circular triangle for the top part of Destiny's Crown. Once the yellow acrylic paint has completely dried, you can go in and add the top coat to your nail to protect the paint. And once the top coat dries, you are done with your LPS Hannah inspired nail design. Our third nail design for this video is inspired by LPS Ace's mascot, Nitre the Dragon. This design is a little different from the last two and you'll see why in a bit, but here you'll start with a yellow colored base coat. Once the yellow paint has completely dried, I know you can't see in this shot, but I am adding a thin strip of tape to a quarter of my nail on one side. This is because, as you can see, I'm going to add a coat of red nail polish on the remaining three-fourths side of my nail. This tape helps protect that quarter of my nail from getting covered in red paint, and when I peel it off, it reveals a nice straight line and some of the yellow peeled off. But that's okay, you can always touch it up. I touched it up off camera. And now we are going to be working on Nitre's spots that you can see on her forehead. Here I'm just kind of blotting the spots uh, sporadically. I'm not looking for any perfect detailed spots and it's okay, your spots don't have to be perfect. For some additional shine, this is totally optional, but I have some yellow glitter paint that I'm going to be adding to the yellow side. And here I decided, uh, you know what, the red side needs some glitter too. It's completely up to you where you want to place your glitter on the LPS Ace inspired nail design. I just thought having the entire nail covered in glitter would be cute. And the reason why I'm adding glitter to this nail design is to mimic the sparkles that you find on any LPS dragon. Once the paint has completely dried, you can now go ahead and layer your design with a protective top coat. And now our fantastical LPS 8 inspired design is now reality. Our fourth design is inspired by LPS Honey's Calico Cat mascot, Maddie. To match this cat's calico pattern, I'm starting with a white base coat. Uh, <laughs> again, it's the infamous chunky white coat. Now, once the base is dried, we are gonna use a orange colored nail polish to work on the orange part of the calico fur. Here, I'm just shaping this orange patch on the top left corner of the nail. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just kind of eyeballing the pattern as I go. And then once the orange paint dries, I'm taking some medium brown paint and adding the brown patch on the top right corner of the nail so that we have the full calico pattern in effect. Next, you're gonna take some bright magenta nail polish and no need to wait for the brown paint to dry because I'm gonna be painting on the white part of the nail that has dried. Sorry, you can't really see. Essentially, you're gonna end up with a thin line of magenta on the bottom edge of the nail, like a French manicure. That's gonna represent Maddie's collar. And then using a dotting tool, which unfortunately you can't see, I painted a small pink upside down triangle to act like Maddie's nose. Last but not least, once the paint dries, you guessed it, we're adding a top coat to protect the paint and you're all set. Now you have a cute little calico design inspired by LPS Honey. And last but not least, our last design will be inspired by, well, my mascot. We are gonna be using some light blue, purple, and pink nail polish to create the gradient of my mascot silhouette based on my profile picture. So going in diagonal strokes, we're starting with the light blue color for the very top of the nail. And once that dries, we'll take the purple color. Oh my gosh, why are my fingers have to be in the way of every shot? Um, we're gonna go in the same diagonal stroke and create the middle part of the gradient with the purple color. The paint strokes here look messy and rough, but it's okay, I fixed that off camera. And then once the purple dries, you go in with the pink 
and in the same diagonal stroke, create the pink part of the gradient in the bottom right corner of the nail. And no need to wait for the paint to dry because the blue has already dried here. With a dotting tool, I'm using some yellow acrylic paint to create a small yellow circle. This will be the center of the little daisy that's on my silhouette. Once the yellow has dried with the same dotting tool, you can go in with some white nail polish and create the petals of the daisy. Again, this white paint that I'm using here is not a good example, but that's okay. Any mistakes that are made can be fixed with additional blue or purple nail polish. And I don't show it on camera, but once the paint dries, you can cover the design with a top coat and you are all done. You have your design inspired by my mascot. And voila, we have all five individual designs together. And if you would like to try out these designs on your own, you're more than welcome to do that. If you do try out these designs, please take a picture and tag me in it so I can see it. And I would love to see how your creations turn out. I hope you guys enjoyed my little nail design tutorial. This is something that's a lot different from my usual content. Then again, everything is different from my usual content, which I don't even know what my usual content is at this point. But as a nail art enthusiast, this was a lot of fun to make. Let me know in the comments which design you guys really liked, and if you would like to see a part two where I make nail art designs based on other LPS tubers or even LPS characters, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys want to see. Oh, and you know what? That's actually a perfect segue into shout outs. Oh, but first I need to announce the this video's shout out winner. And today's winner came from the comments and prompt of my last video about what it's like to be an only child. Without further ado, today's shout out winner is... Animator HQ! Congratulations! Your YouTube username will be written on the Puppy Lover 863 canvas. And if you like a chance to have your YouTube username written on the canvas, if you haven't gotten one already, all you have to do is leave a comment down below using the hashtag LPS Nail Art and tell me what your favorite color of nail polish is for LPS videos. And if you leave a comment below using the hashtag and answering the prompt, you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win a shout out. So with that in mind, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!